WHD so many Americans assume everybody else on the internet is also American. Not really too afraid to ask, but answers are very honest here. Are they not aware other continents have internet access, too? In addition to the other good responses, many Americans greatly underestimate just how many people outside Anglophone countries are fluent in English and just how many Anglophone countries there actually are. Largely this is because people don't leave much. So when you comment in good English, the odds are high and the average American thinks you are also American. I'm Canadian and I also assume everyone on the internet is American. They export significantly more than they import. Of almost everything. So the average US person has considerably less international exposure than the average person from another country has about only the US. It's simply not on their radar unless they actively go out and search for it. Which many do not. As such they speak in terms of what they know. Which is more often than not. American. Their entire life if they traveled 1,500 miles they'd still be in America. Entertainment most often was designed around or at least blended into their culture. The idea is that they rarely have had to consider other countries in their day-to-day -day lives. Up until right this minute. I literally had no idea there even were other continents. Let alone countries. The eagle that lives in my head he made a nest out of my hair is pecking my shoulder to get me to stop typing because it's against the law for Americans to ever talk about anything other than America. Or to know that there is anything other than America. If I don't stop in the next three seconds I'll get kidnapped and sent into exile. Reddit is a US based site and really just playing the odds. I just find it annoying when they shorten their states because it matches where I live and I go. Wait. No American. To quote a German airbase we're all living in America. This gets asked every week somewhere on Reddit. Why do so many non-Americans assume that so many Americans assume everybody else on the internet is also American? To be fair Reddit, Twitter, Google, Facebook, MySpace all of the primordial social medias are American owned based. Maybe with the rise of things like TikTok there will be more international social platforms in the sense of their founding not operation. I think this is the most frustrating when an American is asked where they're from. They then give a two-letter abbreviation of their state. Not even list their country. Just straight to the two letters. Not even write the state name out or anything. Completely assuming an international platform of people will know what they're talking about. I find it so interesting. It's weird how their attitude changes too when they find out if you're not an American. I posted something a long time ago doesn't remember what it was. A girl got offended by something I said and told me my opinion doesn't matter as a white American. When I told her I'm neither white nor American. Her attitude changed towards me. I was mad. Not because she disagreed with something I said previously. But because it felt like racism. Even if it wasn't directed towards me. If you disagree with something, stand your ground. My skin color shouldn't change your opinion. Ah, US defaultism. Because all the platforms you use are probably American made. Like this one. No. I don't. I've seen a lot of good responses. One thing I could think of is a lot of people I know are only on Facebook and a few other social 
medial sites where you have a friends list and it's usually people you know with the majority living at least semi-close to you. So in that sense, a lot of Americans are used to engaging in social media that is a lot closer to home. Reddit is pretty much worldwide. You don't necessarily have a friends list like Instagram or FB. Could at least be contributing to the issue. Yesterday, I posted a comment about school being a privilege. What I had in mind was poorer and or sexist countries who have their boys attend for a year before. Working in the field factories and the girls not at attend at all. The replies all talked about the American education system. Ignoring the actual point I was making. It was utterly bizarre. Cause most Americans live in their own world truly. Now. As a Brit I just wanna say that that's so true. ISTG they all think I'm American when we meet online. Until we go to VC and then they're like. Are you BI? Ish. Say wara say C-H-E-W-S-D-A-Y. To which I go it's British and water for one. And at least we just remove AT you guys replace it with AD like WTF. Every time an American says to pronounce words I ask them to pronounce it back C-U-S they say it with. A-D. Are you British? Say wada. Like they make fun of Brits but personally they're worse. No hate BTW and when I say it with them it's jokes. You can see this when you ask an American where they're from and they respond with a state instead. Of a country. Americans often forget that they only make up four of humanity. ULSN for all saloon U for all SUO. Same reason dudes assume everyone else is a dude. When you think you are in the majority. You think everyone else is too. Nearly half the users of Reddit are from the US. Reddit is also a US company. The next highest percentage of users by country are in the single digits. Which I believe are the UK and Canada at around 7. I always assume everyone on Reddit is straight white American dude unless proven otherwise. Or if I'm in specific sub national sub etc. Because most people I meet here are straight white American dude. The funniest answer I've heard was I assumed you were an American cause you commented in English. They have internet outside of America. Most of them rarely, if ever, interact with other nationalities in daily life. Why would they assume the internet is any different? In Europe you can travel for 10 hours in a single direction and you'd have crossed three national borders. Or possibly even more. In the US you can travel for 10 hours in a single direction and still be in the same state. Or assume their pop culture is global knowledge. I think because so many people never leave the US. The United States is big. I have traveled out of the country but there are still several places within the country I have never been. I am always struck by how much people in, say, England travel to other countries. But those countries are so much closer to them that it's almost the same as me in Illinois wanting to drive to California. It takes around three days. Is about 3,000 miles. A lot of people speak English in other countries. I'm Pakistani American and was really shocked by the amount of people who spoke English in Pakistan. The first time I went there. I'm guessing it's like that in other countries as well. The British pretty much colonized every damn corner of this planet. And the US has a huge influence globally with their media and international job opportunities. We got a lot of English speakers in this world. I've often wondered this. It's definitely a phenomenon.